Okay, well, this is kind of a part two to the last vlog that I did, even though it happened earlier. Uh, it was the day before, actually. I went to Astrid Hospital to meet with a handful of surgeons about my feet. Um, basically, they've identified the problem. Great. Um, it is a, a cava varus deformity, but it can absolutely be repaired surgically. Uh, they just break a bone on the side of my foot, and there you go. I apologize. Actually, I, I should start, actually, by apologizing for the quality of this video, but I'm feeling a bit low, so... I didn't get, I don't even know where my phone is, so I'm just using my laptop camera, which isn't great. Um, but yeah, so I went to Astrid Hospital, and they explained how the procedure would work. They break a bone inside of my foot, up by my big toe and then angle my whole foot into the proper alignment because uh, essentially one of the bones is in the wrong place. How that happened, I don't know. However, there are two huge problems with this. Number one, I need to be immobile and in a cast for about six weeks. I don't know what immobile means, frankly. Would I still be able to get to the bathroom, for example? If not, how am I going to manage? Because I don't want to have to have carers coming in. That'd be horrible. Um, so there's that. But more, well, in a different way. I suppose it could be seen as more serious, I don't know. Um, I've got poor capillary response in my feet, apparently. And they do go purple a lot, to be fair, but on that particular day it was because I was wearing uh, these little braces on my feet that they'd given me. Like uh, these little support wrap things that athletes wear. And that restricted the, the blood flow to my feet. Um, I can't help thinking, though, that they would have taken that into consideration, wouldn't they? I mean, they're surgeons. Either way, they think because of the uh, poor capillary response in my feet, that I'd be at risk from what I like to call CRAPS, CRPS, or Chronic Regional Pain Syndrome, which could last for anything up to a year or, it, or longer. You know, I might have to deal with pain for the rest of my life. Or it may never show up at all. I'm just at a greater risk of that. Um, I can't help thinking, really. I mean, I've got some mobility now. I mean, yes, it's not great. I can't really wear shoes. I can wear one, I can wear a shoe on my right side, but. It's more difficult on the left because of the degree of deformity in my left foot. And I wear a cast shoe, which is like a, a soft, almost like a slipper type thing with Velcro on it. Thing is with that, there's no support in it. So my question is, if I don't have this procedure and I keep on having to walk on an unsupported foot could that cause other problems 
like with my hips or my lower back so I've got a weakness in my lower back already and of course this is to say nothing of the possibility of HSP so what effect could it have on HSP or whatever neurological condition I may have if I've got one it's puzzling um, they talk about the stone here as well so it's it's one of those two they can't make up their fucking mind which is a nine yeah I think as well that you know with the neurological situation if I had it done and there is a neurological issue present could I be back in the same position again and then or worse because there'd be metal holding my foot together at this point and then could that situation recur and then I I'm unable to have the operation a second time would it mean that I'd have to have some other kind of procedure which would be even more debilitating than the at least three months that I would be off my feet for so if I have the operation six weeks in a cast then you get the orthopedic boot thing and it takes another three months from that point to heal I thought it was a lot longer than that I thought it was as long as eight months but I guess it depends on the procedure that they think you need um, but yeah so it's either that and say I have that but then what if any neurological complications turn up and my foot starts tilting again because if that well the bone clearly is in the wrong place but if it's been moved by muscles because my muscle tone in my legs is quite high the left side the left side in particular which they think could be from spasticity so if that pulls that if that pulls something else out of alignment I could end up having to have some other kind of operation which would disrupt a lot of the plans that I've got at the moment because I mean I want to go back to college in September and hopefully get some sort of a career for the last 20 years that I'm able to because I mean I'm in my late 40s so but then people work beyond their late 60s don't they so I don't know anyway this is a, a rambling mess of a vlog I understand that but I felt like it's something I wanted to talk about so I did and hopefully everybody's doing okay and I'll speak to you soon please like share comment and subscribe and thank you for watching bye for now